What's up guys, Brian here, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do a green screen transition on Final Cut Pro X. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. So what do you need to create this transition effect? You can get a green board like this from the dollar store, or you can turn your laptop into a green screen. It really comes down to how creative you can get. Make sure when you shoot these that the green screen is well lit. You should avoid having shadows appear on the green screen. By doing this, you'll save yourself a lot of time fixing it later in post. If you're going to be using a device such as a laptop, all you need to do is find a green colored image like this on Google, download it, and view the image in full screen. All right, so let me show you guys the basics of uh, how to edit this transition. Once you learn how to edit a simple transition from one clip to the other, you'll be able to create endless amounts of transitions using the green screen. Find the clip that you want to transition to and drag it to the project timeline. Next, drag the green screen transition clip on top of the other clip. Now, under the effects tab, type in keyer. Drag that on top of the first clip. And that is pretty much it. If you shot the clip properly and is well lit, it should come out flawless. If you didn't, you might have to adjust settings such as matte tools until you get the clip to look usable. Also try to apply some color correction to your first clip until you get it to blend in and not stand out from everything else. I would then slowly fade in the second clip with the proper color correction. To do this, copy the second clip and paste it on top of the original. Create the top clip until you get it to the look that you like and it blends in well. Add a keyframe to opacity. Then move to the point on the same clip where you want it to fade to the bottom clip. And then change opacity to 0%. Now all you gotta do is create the bottom clip to your liking. 